Hey guys, Tactic Clutch here with uh, what I've heard some guys call a foundational video. You know, I was talking with my uh, wife this weekend, and uh, with our, especially with our upcoming election cycle, I asked her if she thought some candidate could run on a no entitlement uh, platform. And, and I, asked, uh, I asked my wife and I asked uh, another lady and I ha unfortunately have a bad feeling that we've come to a point in this country that no longer could a candidate run on anything like uh, what JFK said back uh, in the uh, 60s, uh, ask not what your country can do for you, uh, but ask what you can do for your country. It seems that at every angle Congress has stepped out and has said, we need to give the people more. And the strange thing is I don't understand why more people aren't stepping up saying, you know what, it's not about what I can get. It's not about it. <laughs> this would probably make a lot of people mad. It's not about extended unemployment benefits. It's not about health care. It's not about what the government can give me. Because when you really stop and think about what the government can give you, keep in mind they set up a whole set of rules and regulations they control you when you take and get on the dole from the government. When did we become such a society that doesn't want to pull itself up by its own bootstraps? It would be mind-boggling to our founding forefathers who fought with no boots on their feet in the winter cold to defend this country and declare its independence from the English. Can you imagine a George Washington coming to this country today? Oh, by the way, I got my, I got my little girl here. Can you imagine George Washington coming to this country today? It would be completely unrecognizable to him. How could you expect anybody to step up into a position and lay down their life to defend this wonderful nation where we've declared freedom as, uh, as a very fundamental right given to us, by the way, and identified by that author of freedom, God himself, our creator. But let's be honest, when we really break it down, when you really break it down, this nation has strayed so far from its creator and if indeed that base is true, that fundamental thought is true, that freedom comes from our Creator, as long as this nation strays from its Creator, how can we expect to have freedom? The reason I say that, the reason I'm tying entitlements in with freedom and what we can do for our country and not what our country can do for us, is those are very finely intertwined. Those points, whether we decide we want to be free, means that you have to be willing to step up and do stuff for yourself to better yourself and to better your family and to quit depending on people around you, uh, that is your governments, to take care of you, to get yourself weaned from the teat of that government hog that will steal from one man and give to you. Is that what you want? Because let's be honest, when those checks are written, that's exactly what's happening. That government is taking from one man and he's giving it to you. He's he may be taking from me and giving to Joe down the street. He may be taking from Joe down the street and giving to, to Jerry in another, in another city or another township. It all is determined on what and how the government sees fit to take from one and give to another. And that is not what this country was founded on. This country was founded on freedom. Which leads into another really big point. And I will probably, in other, in other videos, probably talk about this. But we've all heard about Tax Freedom Day. You know, I don't know exactly when it was this year, but I know that it's, it's four or five, maybe six months in to the year where we have worked all year long to feed that pork. Where we've worked not one dollar 
has benefited you. Not one dollar has benefited your family, but it's all gone to feed that pork in Washington. Now, now I realize a lot of people are probably thinking right now, what do you mean not one dollar? Because I've got roads and we've got a military that's out there protecting us. But, you know, we do have a military and we do have good roads in this country. And there are a few things that I think that uh, the society as a whole would agree that we need to provide for its citizens. You know, roads uh, provide a very important avenue to commerce. Uh, clearly, our military, which is supposed to be protecting this country, uh, while our leaders won't let it protect this country, we've got the, the military out policing policing the entire world right now, and we can't even close up our own borders. I think it would be questionable to say, are your dollars, your tax dollars that are supposed to be paying for security in this country, are they even being spent where they're supposed to be being spent? But the point is, the point isn't that, and that's I could go on a wild tangent on that. The real point is this, that five months... Not one dollar's benefited you. Not one dollar has benefited your family. You know what that makes you? That makes you a slave. And slavery is not freedom. I think most of us would agree that if you're working 8, 10, you know, a lot of business owners working 12, 14, maybe 16 hours a day, which we are a business owner, and I can tell you lots of days we work 10, 12, 14 hours a day, just to try to keep up the wheels turning on this little business that we have. When you are working five months a year and not one dollar is benefiting us, what is the difference between that and what happened with the Emancipation Proclamation with Abe Lincoln back in the 1860s, I believe, when he freed the slaves? When all of those black folk were freed. Hey there, darling. My little sweetie. When all of those black folks were freed from the slavery that they were held in bondage, that is exactly where we are today. We are held in bondage by this government. And we seem to be more than happy to do that as long as we're sucking at that teat, that government nipple, as long as the government's taking from one and giving to you. At what point will you say, no longer? Will I continue to suck at that teat? No longer will I continue to take those checks that the government says I am supposed to be getting. No longer. At what point will you say, it's freedom. And even if I have to lose my house, even if I have to drive an old car, even if I have to wear old rags, I will embrace freedom. That's what I want to know. When will this country make that turn, make that transition to freedom? When will this country say, no more, no more working five months, no more slavery, no more. I want free, get the monkey off my back, give me freedom. And just like, just like what was said with our founding forefathers, give me liberty or give me death. When will people begin to realize the amazing gift that we were given by those people who died to see to it that we could have liberty? As long as you're sucking at that teat, you will be controlled. As long as we say we need to take from Joe Schmo down the street and give to me, we will be slaves. Yep. This is Tactic Clutch. Over and out.